What's up guys, Sam here from Team X3 Drop and I've got a very special deck profile for you guys today. I've got my friend here, Nathan. We just got back from YCS Portland where um, he actually went 5-3 um, there. So only three match losses for the whole day um, with this deck here. So um, with that being said, what deck did you play today? ABC Striker. ABC Striker, okay, okay, I like it. And why do you like this deck? Well, I love ABC, but they don't have enough oomph, no momentum. So I throw the striker in so I can go second. I mean, ABC goes second anyway, but now I can go second twice. I'm more effective and it's ABC with a little kick, a little surprise. Cool, cool. Well, hey man, I'm definitely super excited to see it and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for monsters, we start with 2A. He's okay. the worst one. I would not play three, Okay. no matter how many times people say. Uh, 3B, uh, 3C, he's the best one. Little do people know. Okay, and uh, so why is why is A the worst one in your opinion? He's just bland. He doesn't get you anything. He just is a recovery card. He's only there for hitting over stuff, and that doesn't ever come up because 19 is not enough. And he's just kind of there. He's like almost a vanilla monster, you mm -hmm. know? It's like playing a Garnet and a Garnet, basically. But the B and C, they have better effects there, which makes them oh, yeah. worth running at 3. Oh, yeah. Okay, makes this sense. This guy's the homie. Makes sense. And then we got the best card in the deck, Gizmak Orochi. Ooh, that's the spice. Why'd you decide to play this card? Well, so I was experimenting with older builds that played Destrudo to go into Synchros. And then I was like, oh, Destrudo sucks. And then we got this guy. He's level 8, not 7, 8. 8's pretty big. And he's level 8. He's Machine. Uh, the Orcas have been playing this card for a while, I don't know if y'all seen it, but uh, this guy's big, he's powerful. Uh, there's a combo I'll, I'll explain later when we get to the spells that gets him out really quickly, but the fact that he is a quick effect, you can summon it either turn from your grave or hand, no one sees it coming. In fact, um, you'll see later, uh, I like to, I, I'm going second, so like I like to slap this guy down after I do some stuff sometimes, mm -hmm. like if I'm going for damage and they're just like, alright, I'll take both, and it's like, okay, after that, Gizmek, itch it again. Yeah, super no versatile, super duper versatile, I like it a lot, I like oh, yeah. it a lot. And then we got uh, two Raidens, he's just there because uh, I needed a target for a charge, and because very, actually a couple times today, I would normal summon him to try to mill my third piece. I think once I got to my third piece and was able to come back from it, it didn't deserve that win, but <laughs> hey, I mean, it happens. It happens. Yeah. But Gizmak, no, Gizmak's the OG. Gizmak's the man. Kind of like makes me think of Fairy Tale Snow almost in a way. Yeah, I, he's basically Big Snow. Big Snow. Uh, the last monsters are Gammas and Driver. Uh, I opened Driver enough to not play it. I shouldn't, but, and in fact, that was my biggest decision today is uh, going forward, I would side these and just put in more spells. Um, but they were good. Uh, in fact, one game, because I had Driver in hand, I tribute someone and won because I could just hit him for damage. It was the most ridiculous game of my life, but that's not going to happen again, so. Fair. Fair yeah. enough, fair enough. And they're just there, you know, they're cool. Uh, basically it's to stop my opponent from going crazy on their turn, and then when I go second I can just Yeah, clear. it's a versatile hand trap, lets you, like, push your plays or, you know, whatever you need to do. It's people, there for it. People ask me if I play Ash, I laugh. <laughs> uh, for spells... We got three engage, uh, three widow anchor, and one hornet drums. Cool. So you're you're playing a really heavy sky striker package here with the three engages and three anchors there. Um, Just for the main. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I'm siding a couple. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but basically, it's just. Uh, I mean, the idea of the deck is either to sit on Buster with some spells or just to use the spells before I make Buster and just steal their stuff and OTK. Okay, cool. Cool, so that's the why the anchors kind of come into play. I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. Uh, and then we got three hanger, you know, typical. Uh, terraforming, uh, set rotation. Ooh, okay. This was a tech. Shout out to Marlon Lopez from Eugene. Okay, okay. Uh, so he was telling me to play this. I was like, oh man, it sucks, it sucks. He's like, no, oh, man, because think about it, you can play Mystic Mine. Well, I, I decided against that. This is the real spot. Oh, play. goodness. Pseudo space. So I did some research. I got, I got in the laboratory. I was mixing some chemicals, right? This is the only field spell that no deck can like, abuse except True Draco and ABC. And it, ABC can't really abuse it. We can just, like, kind of stretch it a little. Sure. So it's the only one I could mathematically say that it's fine to give my opponent, and it's also fine if I have it. 
Okay, uh, so it's, you know, it works in the sense that if you draw it, it doesn't totally suck, and if yeah. you... Okay, okay, makes sense. And it sense. also works with, like, write-in mills. If I mill a hanger, it's like, ah, uh, okay, shit, I guess, activate this Spanish hanger, summon a piece. Yeah, and it's, a, it's an additional spell as well for that striker package, too, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And it's like... And set rotation is an additional well, Definitely. Spell. Set rotation. Uh, one, one of the games, I actually cited it out for game two and three, just because, uh... I was really stressed. I did not want to have like a, a brick in my hand. I was mm -hmm. just like, we gotta go for consistency this play. Okay. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, and then we got two mind control. I wanted to play three. I could not fi fit a third one in. It, I think I cut it for uh, a second Gizmek. And that was definitely the right decision for me because I, I cited this out almost every game too because I always was end up going first. Right. And I'd cite in Crackdown or something, but you know. It's nice. If I go second, it's there. I, I didn't see it that much, but probably because I was playing two. And so, off the top of your head, do you know how many cards your deck is? Is it 40? 40, 40, 40 flat. 40 um, flat. I'm kicking myself because I was going to do 41 with upstart, but I forgot. Last minute. Fair enough. Uh, this is the best card in the deck. Monster Gate. Oh, okay. So this card, it recently just came off the ban list, and so you decided to what? utilize it in your deck here. Exactly well, not banned, off the ban list, yeah. but... From one to three, which is which is huge. This card's like such a bomb sometimes. Yeah. Um, for the right deck, it's grass, but this isn't the right deck. <laughs> uh, Inferno is like the only deck where it can turn into grass, but it's also really fine in this deck. Uh, only twice was I upset when I milled with this because I milled literally all my Sky Striker cards in a row. Oh no. That never should happen, but it happened. My opponent was awestruck too. He's like, well, that's like seven Striker cards. But. Uh, it's nice. Uh, there's a lot of combos. The best combo is like when you have Hanger, you summon like C, equip B, Monster Gate it, so you then it doesn't matter what you hit, you'll get their effects, mm -hmm. which is what you want, because you want to like get them engraved, get their pluses, yeah. before you summon Buster. Yeah, and it ke keeps you with a body too, so that's nice. Yeah, <laughs> and like, worst case, uh, it'll ignore driver, uh, Gamma, because mm -hmm. it can't be normal summoned, right. so it, the only thing... Like, you don't want to see it summon is Driver, and, like, that that happens. Uh, Even the best... then, Driver's thick. Yeah. He's got that 2,500 attack points, and he can't get Widow Anchored. Uh, a couple times it hit into Raiden, which was fine, because I guess milled more. Uh, and then sometimes it would summon Gizmek, and that's the combo I was telling you about. Uh, getting Gizmek off this is huge, because not only is Gizmek live, I didn't summon it through its effect, so I either have its... It's oh, normal effect, okay. Or I can just so he can it. be normal summon. He don't need to use his yeah. effect to summon him. I, mean, okay. I can't imagine tribute summoning him. But monster game <laughs> Gizmek is insane because you get your pluses, you do your combo, you could link it away and then just bring it back for more damage later. This is looking really spicy. I really like in this so far. Yeah. Uh, and then second best card, which also is also terrible, uh, Charge of the Library. Um, a lot of game twos. If I was going first, I'd side this and Raiden's out just because. I, they're cool, but they're only really cool when you have, like, the extra sixth card and you're going for kills. Sure. Because milling before your opponent does anything, I maybe it's just me, but it didn't seem optimal. I was looking at, like, oh, my opponent's going to be playing through my board. I don't really want to have just graveyard stuff. Sure. Makes I sense. I mean, if I had Buster, it was cool, but it just, eh. So we'd be, looking, we'd be looking at cutting those then? I, well, not cutting them, because, like, it is worth, like... The deck's blind second, so when you do blind second, it's nice. But there was plenty of people there that were saying, you can go first. I'm like, oh dear, what have I got? <laughs> uh, one was Cyber Dragon. Uh, I think one of them was Striker. In fact, all the Strikers that uh, won the die roll made me go first. Okay. Uh, I played three Striker, and that was it for meta. I played a bunch of random ass decks, like 10 ye Invoked. Huh. I, I don't know if that was a thing before, or <laughs> this kid was just dumb. But it's it was a thing I played against. So we had so we had eight rounds. Three of them were striker. One Tenyi invoked, and then we're missing. Let's see. Cyber Dragon. Uh, it's five. Uh, Super Quantum BA. It was a weird BA. It was just Boral Sword kill. Mm -hmm. uh, and probably Salad. Salad. Okay. And uh, which of those matchups oh, did you lose? I forgot the evenly match. Oh. Well, shoot. Okay. Even the match. <laughs> One second. I always kept it in. Never slided it out. Even when I went first, it was the clutch. Sure, yeah, definitely. Especially if you're going second year. Let's you, like... Yeah. I just eat their board, then go off with striker mm -hmm. stuff, then go in ADC. Establish yourself. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, did you want me to do side deck? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. 
Uh, side deck, uh, Twin Twisters. Well, other way. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Twin Twisters. I only ever side them in against Striker. Uh, I mean, that's given what I played today, but uh, I mean, it was there. It was nice. It was mm -hmm. a really cool combo. Uh, I made a mistake. I activated Engage. Did not have a target, so ear, uh, rewind game state, put it back in my hand, sat there for a minute, and then I realized I need. I, I was just doing that so I get the third spell engrave. Mm -hmm. So I just ended up twin twistering, discarding the engage, targeting my own set widow anchor, chaining it to take his monster, tribute summon driver, and attack for game. Oh Jesus! Wow, that is a power move if I've ever heard one. <laughs> it was at nine hundred too. It was it was scary. Like we we were live or die there. And so this is only for striker the twin twisters. I. I mean, I sided against Pendulum. That was the other deck. Gotcha. Okay. But it was, I wouldn't call Pendulum. It was terrible. Fair. Uh, it was uh, some bounty hunter guy. That you get prizes, like free packs. Or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Shark Cannons. I have been all over the place with this card. I was thinking about maining it, thinking about siding it, thinking about not playing it at all. Could not make up my mind. Ended up siding it. Was going to play three, one, two. Could not decide. I don't like it. You don't like it, okay. Uh, I sided in the last round against Striker. The only time I sided in against Striker, it actually came up. I didn't see he didn't see right all game one, so I was like, I'm gonna regret siding this in, but I'll side it in. Ended up searching it, ended up getting rid of his ray. He had no monsters for so the rest of the game. He just sat on Mystic Mine. I ended up decking out because I gizmeked like twice that game. Oh but no. The fact is I prevented him from Getting anything on the field after I got rid of his ray and then his monster. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But and it's pretty cool too because like striker striker has a lot of tools that you can find with the engage, which kind of increases your deck's versatility yeah. as well. So you can kind of go back and forth with this kind of thing. That's what Super I was cool. Uh And then another thing, every striker sided this in against me. Mm -hmm. One of them wasn't that smart. He tried to summon my Kagari instead of banish my Gizmek or my only C. Oh, but, gotcha. So he was getting real greedy. <laughs> yeah, he only had two spells. He goofed. Oh, no. Um, Black Garden. Uh, I, I don't want to take credit where credit's due, but I was the first guy in the world to think this was okay. side against Striker. No one believes me. Uh, anyway, I guess people were hiding it for Nationals. Uh, I always side it now, but uh, it's just there for set rotation, basically. Okay. Or, I guess, if I do open it. I never saw it. I always milled it. Okay. Um... Red, red reboots for strike uh, for solid. Uh, that was it. I'm not really worried about any other trap deck. I don't think I even cited it. No, solid, I did. Solid altar guys, uh, that kind of thing. Altar guys. You know what I mean. Like yeah. that's the general idea with this card here. Definitely. Um, I mean, it was cool. Uh, I think I resolved it against some trap deck for five, and he was shot. Oh, cyber dragon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They they had the set card that like banishes to pop cards, mm -hmm. and I was just like, get that out of here. He oh. didn't even set a trap from his deck. I guess he was new. Oh no! Uh, skill drain. That's the lost art. Check that out. Ooh, let's <laughs> see it. Um, I was nice. I was maining that at locals the week before. Didn't like it. Uh, I mean, it's good with you know the whole Buster trick, discard, chain, tag out. Sure. But I uh, never sighted in. I was thinking about sighting in a couple times against like the BA deck. I know that sounds weird because there are great effects, but a lot of their good effects, like the bigger monsters, are on the field. It actually probably could have stopped Boral Sword from killing me, but that was a quick match, so you know, nothing harmed, nothing lost. Uh, another searchable card from the uh, Engage uh, Eagle Booster. Okay. I've mained it, I've sighted it, I cannot decide. Uh, I end up sighting in a lot. I also am glad I'm not maining it because it's dead against a lot of decks but it's nice uh it's better i feel like it's better for orcas decks that play the striker engine because mm -hmm. you want to make sure mermaid goes through yeah absolutely uh, i mean this is cute on buster but usually buster's in the main monster zone so it's like well this is dead fair uh metaverse and three crackdown these were the main four i sided in the most uh because a lot of games after game one i end up going second they're going first because they they know first of all it's ABC. They were like, ah, let's make you go first. And also, I think once I opted to go first because it was some deck that needs to set up. It's been a long day of dueling. <laughs> but um, Crackdown, I always side out mind control for this, uh, which is a weird ratio because two for three. But I found another card and uh, I cited a metaverse. Never saw it. Would have been cool to get Hanger from it. Yeah, definitely. Or like but, throw a Black Garden on there or something. Yeah. Um, I mean that was the that was the play back in the day when this was at three before 
people even mystic mind wasn't even a thing i was uh maining this in abc going second I'm going second maining trap in case i go first just so i can get to hanger because i needed more hangers mm -hmm. but that was an old you can always use more hangers always um, i am at fucking walmart for 25 cents a for 30 of them or something like that <laughs> uh um extra deck one kigari uh, it's mm -hmm. the only striker link I play, although looking back, I would definitely have played Hayate. Okay. Because the arrow and the attack directly, and it just, the more I think about it, I was like, man, I should have just cut something for it. It, it would have been better than Kagari FM. So many times I tried to link two monsters under it, and then I was like, oh, arrows across the screen, not to me. Sure. Uh, but she's a machine. Uh, the, it's just really good because it combos with the ABCs. You can make Clipo Genius, Platinum Gadget, stuff like that. Uh another card you'll see in a second actually uh claire rushka she's married to the abc archetype if you go <laughs> second after you evenly them you summon or hanger c summon c equip b link those into that immediately just so you can get your combo um you just want to make sure you can get to bust her first turn and this sort of lets you do it i mean she's not at all a perfect card but she's there mm -hmm. she is what she is she knows what she does she's earned her spot i uh, mean Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. The only problem is their arrows across. If it was down, this card would be 10 times better. Sure. Uh, Link 2s, I got Lambda. Another card I've played, cut, played, cut. It is what it is. Uh, I'm not in love with it. I, if I side the driver stuff, I'll probably cut it all together. Uh, I like his arrows. It reminds me of uh, Mech Knight and Morningstar, back when I was playing Mech Knight ABC, yeah. which is uh, just an aggressive second build, but it dies hard if I go first. But yeah, I, I just like its arrows. It's like the one of the best Link 2s. Yeah, and arrows. you're playing the Gamma too, so it doesn't always, you know, hurt to have it out. Yeah, I never got to resolve its effect. But one one game, last game of the whole day, I thought I would be able to because I was sitting on this with Gamma in hand, but didn't end up coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Clipo Genius, this is the GOAT. Like, what, what everything I said about uh, Gizmek, this, this is what I meant. And so, what, is, what does this card do for some of us who might not know? For all you striker players out there, he's unaffected by spell and traps and link monster effects the turn, or just if he's link summoned. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of times where I make this and they're like, okay, I'll just Widow Anchor. I'm like, gotcha! <laughs> uh, this card is the, the GOAT. Like, if you make this early in striker, it's really good because uh, he's 1800, so they have to have at least four spells in grave for uh, Kagari to attack over or Shizuku to weaken it, but I... I could be wrong. I think it's only just activated effects that he's unaffected by. But uh, it's really good. I was actually considering teching or citing one kaiju, uh, yeah. Jizukuru, just the one copy. Because uh, if both of his zones have something summoned to it at the same time, he searches a level 10 machine, like intended to be the Clippos, like Clippo Towers. Mm -hmm. But coincidentally, Jizukuru, and then that'd be like an out for Striker to just turn mm -hmm. off their stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's well, not the best one because he's huge and you don't want to give your opponent, you know, 3,300 view. That, that can beat over Buster, you know, you don't want to do that. But it's there. Um, it's an option. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of times I made this guy and just sat on it. In fact, the Cyber Dragon matchup is very similar because we're both Light Machine decks. And we both were sitting on this guy for turns because we were both, or I was playing Striker Engine, he might have been. We were both just like, I need to make sure my plays go through. I'm sitting on this. And then he took a turn with it. It was pretty fun. Cool. Um, Platinum Gadget, he's the other machine link we play. Okay, fair um, enough. We're not super happy about this guy. He's really important for certain turns where you need to get that extra piece onto the field to link out, or to, to fuse into Buster. He has a drawback, which makes me hate him. You can't link with him the turn he's link summoned. Oh no. Like, at least it's not all together. But he never survives. He's 1,600. Uh, he can float into a gadget, which we don't play. Um, and he's just there. Um, I mean, the, he's important enough to play because we need to get the buster out. But mm -hmm. it's... That drawback. I don't get why they gave him a drawback. Fair enough. Um, Hita. That was for Salad matchup. Which he didn't play a lot of Never today, came up. So. Uh, yeah, I, I have two fires in my extra deck, Phoenix and uh, Kagari. And with all my, you know, take your monsters stuff, I was figuring I'd make this a couple times. Never. Probably helps out in the striker matchup because you can take their Kagari. See, I, you know, I 
if I would have sat there and thought about it, I probably would have made that. But <laughs> um, I, I was dealing with other stuff against Striker. I didn't have time to think, oh, can I make a fire to make this, to take hers, to link three? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I would have just cut her and played a high Ate. That would have probably been a smarter play for me. Uh, Phoenix never came up at all today. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I play it, obviously, but uh, there was once I almost made it against Pendulum just to hit his own, but I was like, oh, wait, no, I'm just going to make, uh, I think it was genius to negate his stuff. Uh, Unicorn also barely came up, I think, once. Uh, I like it because its arrow is down. I mean, it's not the best arrow, but, I mean, he's good, but his just didn't come up today. Sure. This guy, this guy's the goat. Ooh, what is this? So this combos more with Some Gizmet, spicy too. spicy cards. So BLS... Has a, a neat little thing that says striker decks lose to this card. So I think we got a lot of those in this deck. Yeah, I, I mean it's the meta dog. I gotta prepare. <laughs> so um, he needs three monsters. Three monsters, not not two. You know, not a link to another <clears> monster. <throat> he needs three, so that is a little bit of an investment. But if you make it with a level seven or higher monster, he can't be targeted and cannot be destroyed by card effects by your opponent's card effects. So. If you can make this with, uh, like, Gizmec, which is level 8, which is why I play Monster Gate to get to him, or summon him, you know. Mm -hmm. Striker can't touch you. They can't do the second effects of their uh, Afterburner, or of uh, Jamming Waves. They can't Widow Anchor him. They cannot answer this, except from the extra deck. And on top of that, if he kills something, he has one of three effects. Uh, banish a monster they control. He can attack twice next turn. Or... Increase by 1,500, and if you do that one, oh, wow. they cannot hit over it at all. You make this guy, and you kill one monster, boost him up, that's done. If they don't scoop, they're wasting your time. Fair? Okay. Uh, I made him, so we make him four times Gizmet today. If I had one game, I didn't know what I was playing against. I made Platinum Gadget with this guy and then Buster, just because I had the resources to invest into it, and I figured that was pretty solid investment. Mm hmm for Actually, sure. bit in the ass. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that card a lot. But, Super cool. Yeah, no, he's the homie. Uh, sorry, Yuja. Makes it more interesting than in performance, but uh, it did come up uh, against uh, Pendulum. My opponent had uh, Skull Dread and the Aphromage guy that says you can't summon from the next check. So I was struggling, but I had Gizmax, so I summoned it to the opponent's Sorry Yuja zone, boosted over, kill, killed the guy, and I think I Buster tagged out right before the guy came out because I went first, and I just made it into my Yuja. Okay. Came out. Cool. It's good. So yeah, Buster tag out's a free Link 4 almost. Yeah. With well, this deck, uh, I only really have room for one, maybe two Link 4s. I wanted to play Boral Sword, couldn't find one. I also haven't tested enough to determine if it's what's needed right now. Makes sense. Uh, the other Link 4, which I, I forced in, it needed it. Nightmare Griffin. So this guy never comes up, but when he does, <laughs> he's pretty sweet. So the reason we like him is the same reason we like Yuja. You don't have to use four monsters to make it. Uh, in fact, this guy's better because Yuja's better, you know, if you use the four. But this guy, I usually, if I'm making him, I'm in, going into Unicorn and one monster. Mm -hmm. uh, and you just decide to spell trap. Uh, one game I set Crackdown after I just used it the same turn to clear one of his guys, link it away. And then I just sat on it when he had no cards and he was top decking. Mm -hmm. And it was over. It was him, Buster, and Crackdown, like, it's just not fair, man. Yeah, and the nightmares they help out with like getting some of the pieces in the grave and like oh, yeah. Griffin's no, got that skill drain esque effect going on as well, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that also sometimes comes up. I always forget about that effect. <laughs> um Cypher and Omega, my only synchro. Only reason I play it is because not just because of the gamma driver, but mostly because I play Raiden, and there's a lot of times where Raiden and a piece are just chilling on the board together, especially with Monster Gate combo. Mm -hmm. And usually it's worth a link too, but then I think, oh wait a minute. What if I just make this guy? Um, okay. I mean, I don't really use it to take something from the hand. I like his attack. It's pretty big. Uh, if he ever gets in the grave, just put him back. Um, a like lot it. of people today were playing this. I was astonished. I was looking over at people's tables. I saw this guy everywhere. So maybe it's because Lambda and him combo, I guess. Uh, and the last card in the next deck, the boy. The boy. The boy. The big boy. The, the win condition makes sense. Probably not much to explain there on that one. Yeah. All right. So we went ahead and we wrapped that up. Um, thank you so much for sharing that with us today, Nathan. And so uh, I just wanted to recap here. So we went 5-3 uh, in Swiss on day one of YCS Portland. Is that right? Yes. But I want to go on record 
I went to game three every single round and put them to the nipple on the teeth. That was not a good metaphor. I really pushed them though. Striker on the game round, the last round cut, prevented me from day two. Striker I had Mystic Mine. That, and I decked out. That was it. Okay, well, hey, better luck next time there. We almost made it to day two this time. Um, you were definitely the closest here out of our, our crew who went here. Shout out um, to Dank Deals. Shout out to Dank Deals. Uh, shout out to X3 Drop as well on that one. <laughs> um, and yeah, with that being said, uh, thank you again for sharing with this uh, that with us. And uh, please go ahead and give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Look out, Calvin Dahlone.